Bush. But we were able to talk to the TV audience exclusively during the commercial break. That was kind of a neat thing. That was yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. Little, little weird in the studio. Uh, not easy for me to put in, but once I get it in my head as to what we're supposed to do, I think I'll be okay um, without making mistakes, I hope. Jim Zecca, uh, we're all suffering from the Zecca virus right now. <laughs> as, uh, what happens, Jim, is when you get the Zecca virus, you can't help it. All of a sudden, you become a Donald Trump, Donald Trump fan. There's nothing I can do. Oh, I can't help myself, Bill. How are you doing this morning? <laughs> all right, quickly, I'll give you... One minute, because I have Senator. Get back on again, the Christie aide. I have Senator Griffo. Uh, what was that again? He liked the, the Christie aide. Christie aide that you had on. He was very good. I, I liked him. I enjoyed uh, hearing uh, yeah. his perspective on things. Okay, what you do you. get it back on. Your, your opinion in uh, 45 seconds. Uh, the uh, president, former president of Mexico, buffoon. Yeah. Plain and simple. Oh, there's and, no doubt about uh, it. You know. Come on, we're dealing with these people all over the world. That's what Trump has been saying in his campaign. Uh, America first, that's what it's all about. Enough. Enough of this nonsense with these other countries think they're going to dictate our business here in the United States. Trump is absolutely right. America first. His campaign is beyond Trump, uh, Bill. It's, it's definitely beyond Trump, and uh, people know that. It's America first. That's what it's all about. All right. You know, in Mexico, he said, uh, we climb walls, we swim rivers, and we'll go to war or whatever. I think the right, Americans wonderful. Sh- yeah, should be... Good response. That, that makes a lot of sense. Come on. You know, you know we're right. dealing with these kind of people all over the world. I mean, they don't like us all over the world. And, uh, you know, we've got so many of our own problems that we let go for so long. The infrastructure... I, I could go on and on and on. Right. The water system... You're 45... about the rest of the world. You're Trump 40, is absolutely right. Your 45 seconds is up. Thank you, uh, Jim. Thank okay, you, Bill. Right. I'm loving this. Uh, I really love this Zeka virus thing. <laughs> I'm going to produce something with that coming up. Um, all right, Andrew, I have a couple things I'm going to do before we get done. Uh, let's take caller number four at 736 uh, 736-0186 right now. Did we lose Griffo? Is that what happened? Uh, caller number four right now at 736-0186. And it's a chance to win a pair of tickets to Brews and Barbecue. It's this Saturday, May 21st. This not this Saturday, a week from this Saturday, May twenty first, featuring the band The Wait. Um, take a load off, and these are original members of the the band. Um, really awesome, and it's the best food. There are food truck, uh, uh, like a food truck festival going on. There's a bunch of them there. You get to sample all the food, and of course, there's beverage as well. It's all in Hannah Park. And call it number four. We'll give you a pair of tickets on the house at seven three six zero one eight six. Call it number four right now. Seven three six zero one eight six. Andrew, make it caller four and five. Give them each a pair of tickets. It's one week from this Saturday at Hannah Park. All right, in studio we have a couple of interns here, and I wrote down everybody's Morning, guys. name. It's Justine and Ryan, guys. Uh, you're both going to be on mics. Okay, I see that. And good morning, so, Justine. You're from Whitesboro. I am. Okay, and Ryan, you are from New Hartford. Yep. Okay, you are. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yep. Which mic is he on? He's got to be on four. Mm-hmm. I haven't programmed because I was messing around with the TV thing. Um, is Griffo yes, no, maybe, Andrew, or no? Don't worry about it if you can't get him. Okay, He's don't worry. At it. this point, don't. it's yeah. 50. I, I don't have time. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to keep score. Who can keep score? I, I want. Keep score. Uh, we've had people criticize over our questions for our free money question of the day from Hobika, hmm. saying the questions are too hard. Hmm. No one's going to get these questions. Okay. <laughs> So I'm here to show you that these two interns, who are both seniors in high school, uh, yes. nice and tight. Both of you got to be really, really tight in the microphone. Yeah, right you're good here. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. Yeah. And um, uh, we consider you two brilliant. Okay. So, but not all that brilliant. You're just, you know, you, you can answer these questions. You're the okay. future. So starting with uh, Justine uh, in Whitesboro. Okay, here's your question. In the wild, wild west, what was a derogatory term for a black cowhand? A derogatory term for a black cow hand. Ready, go. I have absolutely no clue. Give her the buzzer. She doesn't get a point there. <laughs> that was cowboy. Yeah, cowboy. That really? wasn't a nice word back then. Really? So they say. Yeah. Did not um, know that. Okay, uh, Ryan from New Hartford. When a hurricane is imminent in America, Walmart shelves tend to get emptied. The top two items sold are strawberry pop tarts and what beverage? Ready, go. Water. Is it going to be water? <laughs> Boy, these kids are stupid. <laughs> like, come on, it's milk. It's milk. It's not even milk. It's what? high C. It's beer. Oh. 
Cool. Yeah, yeah. All right, back to <laughs> back to Justine. Is that true? That is Just, absolutely yeah. true. Back to Justine. In 1900, 40 percent of the American cars were powered by steam. Did you know that? In 1900, there were 40 percent of the American cars. The cars in the United States were powered by steam. 22 percent were powered by gasoline, and 38 percent were powered by what? Ready? Go. Diesel. Got to go with diesel. Is it diesel? Mm. Oh, you guys are not proving my point. Coal? Um, <laughs> neither are you. <laughs> <laughs> Electricity. Isn't that interesting? Doesn't it make you wonder yeah. why we can't figure this out? I mean, I guess we are making a ton I mean, of yeah, progress. It's been since 1900. <laughs> yeah. All right, over to, uh, over to Ryan from New Hartford. The Irish surname prefix Mac means son of, while O, as in O'Malley or O'Reilly, means what? Ready? Go. I have no idea. Into the buzzer. <laughs> you're not proving my it's point. Daughter of? Descendant of. Oh, right. Masky, you're well, I got to go back to school or All something. All right, back to Justine. Here we go, Justine. We're hoping that these guys will get one answer right. These are tough questions. They really are, aren't they? They are. Um, okay. Which blood cells make up only 1% of your body? Ready, go. White blood cells? Mm, you know, bingo, she's got one right. You know that's a question you there might see go. popping into science class. <laughs> All right, Justine leading Ryan, who is losing with zero. And here we are. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Sorry. Uh, okay, here's your question. What's oldest, Congress, the Postal Service, or the United States? Ready, go. The United States? Think about it. Uh, post Justine, it? you want to steal? Um, yeah. Postal, Postal service. service. Yeah, she'd go with that. I think we should give Justine the point. I think, I, we I, I think Ryan gets a half a point. Half a point? Yeah. Yeah. Why would you give Ryan a half a point? Because he, he said the Postal Service before she chimed in with the correct uh, answer. All right, well, that is really lenient. And he's already behind. I mean, come yeah. on. I mean, we want to, do we want a game here? The kid's batting 500 in baseball. <laughs> Don't know. worry about it. <laughs> he doesn't it. need to know, right? He doesn't need to know this stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's true. He'll get into college another way. All right, here we go, <laughs> Justine. <laughs> Ryan, I'm busting your chops. Here. Yeah, we're just joking. Uh, All right, Justine, here we go. Here we go, Justine. Um, this was one of my favorite questions of all. The last time the Republican Party won a presidential election without somebody named either Bush or Nixon on the ticket was in what decade? Ready, go. 19 what? Decade. 1980s? Uh, actually, it was the 1920s. Wasn't 20s. on. Remember, wasn't, wasn't on. on. A Bush or a, a Clinton. Uh, okay, Ryan, here's your chance to, uh, to, to tie it up. Um, if you ask someone for their zone improvement plan, what are you asking for? I, I'm going to read the question properly. If you ask it. someone for their zone improvement plan code, what are you asking for? The... Uh... The code, I don't know. This. You want to try to steal this one, Justine? Yes, you do. Oh, my zone, God. Guys, guys. Zone Come as in Z. Zone improvement, improvement as in I. Plan code. Zip code. Uh, zone oh improvement God. plan. Wait, in your defense, they're saying this as though they knew it the first time you asked this question several uh, weeks ago. Yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I but if you say I mean, zone improvement plan, yeah. in fairness, I have all the answers. Okay. <laughs> Which is what I say whether I have the answers in front of me or not, by the way. Okay, <laughs> What's here the we secret go. to life, Bill? Back to Justine. Here we go. Uh, which American president holds the record for being the first to be born in a hospital? Ready? Go. It's a modern-day president. Modern-day meaning maybe not before you were alive, but modern-day. Oh, I know. This. Throw I know one out. This one. George Bush. George Bush. It was Jimmy Carter. So, uh, good guess. Uh, what former... Oh, here's one for Ryan. Ryan, what is the area code for Cape Canaveral? One. Well, there's usually three three digits. Two, like, three. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm going to go okay. with that. You're so close. It's three, two, one. Get it? Three, two, one. Lift off. Oh, okay. Bingo. All right. Uh, for the championship, what? Uh, whoever gets this answer, okay? Whoever gets this answer, get it out there. Uh, here is your question. What does one do in order to say hello in Tibet? Ready? Go. They do a tribal dance. Oh, I know this one. Uh, the answer is stick your tongue out. They stick their tongue out. Yeah, that's true. Uh, a lot yeah. of good. Uh, a lot of good interning uh, here has done them. Would we you have... like the explanation? <laughs> yes, could you? They believe that like demons or evil people have black tongues. So when you meet someone, you show them that your tongue is not black <clears throat> or rotting out. Unless you've just had chocolate, then you, you want to be careful. That. And ah. beware, some of those uh, sinus medicines mm -hmm. you take can create a, a condition called black hairy tongue. 
Look it up. It's one of the side effects. <laughs>